President Biden fired back at the Republican governors of Florida and Texas, accusing them of playing politics with human beings after they sent buses and planes full of migrants to Massachusetts and Washington, D.C. Senior White House correspondent Mary Bruce starts us off. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. This is an audacious stunt. Republican governors using thousands of migrants searching for a better life to make a political point about immigration. It's an attempt to up the pressure on Democrats in the White House and highlighting what is a very serious issue. And this morning, the president is now responding, defending his policies and calling this Republican tactic reckless and un-American. Overnight, President Biden taking on Republican governors, accusing them of using human beings as political pawns. Republicans are playing politics with human beings, using them as props. What they're doing is simply wrong. Biden responding as conservative governors send more and more migrants from strained border communities to liberal strongholds, an effort to spotlight immigration two months before the midterm elections. Hector Miguel Donaire didn't know where he was going. They said that they were taking us somewhere where there is refuge, a lot of help especially for the children that were traveling with us. But when he stepped off the bus in Washington, D.C. yesterday, he was outside one of the city's most famous residences, the vice president's house. One of thousands of undocumented migrants bused to Washington by Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott. Hours before his bus arrived, two private chartered jets from San Antonio made a surprise landing on the wealthy island of Martha's Vineyard carrying roughly 50 migrants, including several children, sent by Florida's Republican governor and presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis. Local officials say they had no idea they were coming, but DeSantis made sure cameras captured it all. The minute even a small fraction of what those border towns deal with every day is brought to their front door, they all of a sudden go berserk. But on the ground, officials say they race to provide help and housing. The immigrants that arrived here were not met with chaos. They're, they've been met with compassion. For months, Republican governors have been sending migrants to Democratic states to try and make a political point. New York City receiving nearly 12,000 migrants. Its mayor says the city is nearing its breaking point. We need help. We have not been ashamed to say that we need help. The Republican governors say the administration's process is broken and argue their tactic is giving the rest of the country a much needed dose of reality. There has been a surge in border crossings, a record 1.8 million apprehensions since October, with about half of those migrants being released in the U.S. Cities like El Paso, Texas have hit a crisis point. ABC's Maria Villarreal seeing it firsthand. El Paso is one of the border cities that's getting hit really hard right now. We just confirmed with the city that Border Patrol has about 1,300 encounters every day. And a lot of those people end up right here in the streets, downtown area of El Paso. You can see a lot of people are starting to drop off food and drinks here, as well as clothing for migrants that are waiting to get on buses to then head north. We pressed the White House. And do you feel that the situation at the border is under control? Are you doing enough? We are fixing a broken system. It is not like turning the light switch on. It is going to take some time. Now, the White House says the Trump administration is responsible for that broken system, and they do admit there is a lot more work that can be done here. But the president says that Republicans have shown no interest in actually solving the immigration problem through legislation. George, it's one of the many reasons the president is saying that the upcoming midterm elections are so critical. Right, and hard George. to imagine anything happening before those elections to fix this. Okay, Mary, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.